Hello everyone, welcome back. On this channel, we talk a lot about image generation. Recently, I've also talked about audio generation. In today's video, I'm going to talk about video generation. A new one, video generation is an open source project designed to generate videos from text or images. The most challenging part of video generation is the fact that we need to generate a lot of images and then make sure that it is consistent. A new one video solves this problem but it does come at a cost so if i scroll down here you can see the requirements it says that if we wanted to do 720p we'll need 60 gigabytes of vram and if we want to do 544 pixel then it's going to be 45 gigabytes some amazing people try to solve this so we have a quantized version we also have a distal model of it and then we have the comfy ui video wrapper by kijai but today, the Comfy UI developers announced that we have a native support. So in this video, I'm going to explore it. I will also show you how you can set it up on your system. Now, in case you're wondering, I have a 12 gigabyte GPU, but I was able to run it without any issues. Before we jump into Comfy UI and the installation process, let's take a look at a couple of videos which were generated using the Hanyuan video model. Now, as you can see, it's quite fast, but you can see that it's actually consistent. The videos are usually five seconds long. Those are the type of videos that we'll be able to generate using this model. To set this up on your system, you'll need to make sure that Comfy UI is up to date. To do this, you can go into your Comfy UI portable folder, go into update, and then double click on update comfyui.bat. If you don't have the portable version, then you can just type in git pull, making sure you are inside the comfy UI directory first. Next, you will need the model file, the text encoders, as well as the VAE. So in the description of this video, I will have links to the Hugging Face page. The downloading process will be the same for all the files. So click on the link, go into Hugging Face page, and then just click on this download button here. For the text encoders, you will need to download the clip L. This is the same as the Flux model. So if you've already downloaded it, you can skip this one. And then you will need to download the Lava Llama 3. We have two versions. We have the FB8 and there's also an FB16 version. For the VA, we only have one file. So simply click on the download button. Once you've downloaded them, you'll need to move all the files. So the model file will be inside diffusion models like this. The text encoders will go inside the text encoders folder and you will need to have the clip L as well as that Lava Llama 3. In my case, I am using the FB8, but if you have the resources, you can go with the FB16 version. The VAE will be inside the VAE folder. I have mine here. All right, so that's all the setup that you'll need. Um, make sure Comfy UI is up to date if you're having any issues. You can try updating from the manager and click on update Comfy UI and see if that works for you. Now the workflow as well will be in the description below. Once you load it, you just need to make sure that in this load diffusion model, you are selecting the Hany1 video. And if you have any issues, you're running into memory issues, then you can change this D type here from default to FB8. And there are a couple of versions here. Now the dual clip loader, similar to the Flux model, will need to select both text encoders. So the first one here, I have the clip L. And then the next one here is the Lava Llama 3. Again, I'm using the FB8 version. Now this type should be selected, but just in case, if you're experimenting, make sure that it is Hunyuan video. Load VAE, just select that Hunyuan video VAE. And then here is the positive prompt that you will need to enter. Now this latent video is very important. It's going to determine the final resolution of your video. And then this length here is going to determine the duration. At the bottom here, we have basic scheduler and right now it's at 20. All the videos I've generated were with 20 steps. Now for me, it takes around 14 minutes to generate one video from start to finish. So loading the models until the video combined with combining all the images into a video. The actual generation itself takes around 12 minutes. Now, one thing that is important in this workflow is this VAE decode. Now, as you can see, I have it quite low. I think by default, it's at 512 or 256. So if you're having difficulty with the default value, decrease it. The tile size, you will just divide it by two. The overlap, it goes by 32. So I think uh, 64 is the default. 
I have decreased it to 32. There's a note here that explains how you can decrease it. Now, other things that you can do in order, in case you're having any memory issues, would be to decrease the resolution here. But with these settings at 12 gigabyte VRAM, I'm able to generate videos using the model. As you can see here, I have an example right now, and you can see and appreciate the consistency of this model. We have one character, the character is turning around, but it's the same character. We don't have any flickering at all. And usually when we look at video generation, there's some kind of clipping that happens. Sometimes one of the arms is going to go behind the body and a couple of frames is going to be in front of the body. But in this case, we can see that it's actually consistent. the tail as well coming around and there's no clipping at all. In order to generate videos like this, you need to ensure that in your positive prompt, you have some kind of action that is happening. In this particular case, I've said the character is turning around, which they are turning around. You can also type in walking, running. Those would be considered as an action. You can also define the type of shot. So you can do drone shot as well. Here's an example of not having an action in the positive prompt. So I've said a close-up shot of a woman's eye and we got everything. It's just a slight movement of the camera that is happening. So if you don't add an action, basically you get some kind of static video. Now we've seen the good thing about it. Let's talk a little bit about the limitation. So I've already talked about the positive prompt. You'll need to make sure that we have an action in case you want to, to see some kind of movement. In this particular case, I have a clip running right now, and this text prompt contains two things. So I have a shot in a room where we have an alien woman walking past a door, and then the moment they go and crosses that door, it's supposed to change the scene into a different thing. But as you can see, the, the model interpreted the text quite literally and gave me two different shots just to smash together. We have a room where the alien is, I'm guessing it's trying to open the door. And then we have a different room where the, the scene changes. I was expecting the character to cross the door, place, open it and cross to the other side. But that's the limitation of the five seconds that's happening. And here's another one where, again, the five seconds limitation is limiting the model quite a bit. So in this particular case, I mentioned that I wanted a zoom in effect on the eye. And once you go quite zoom in, then it, uh, it just added something there. Now for me, unfortunately, I cannot increase the length. Uh, I get out of memory issues, but if you are able to do it, maybe you will be able to generate some good shots with different actions on in the same video. Now, another limitation is we are not able to do image to image. At least I don't have a workflow that does image to video. And that is because of this length here. When we do a load image and then we can do VA encode like this. If we pass this latent over to the sampler, it will simply generate one frame. Now I've tried using a load video instead and gave it a video, pass in the images to Pixar, but then I got into an error that was saying something was not matching. There was an exception. So for now, I'll say we have native support for the model, but uh, we are restricted with text to video right now. I'm guessing image to video will come by because this model is able to do image to video. Okay, so a few things to remember. If you're getting out of memory issues, first thing to do is to change the D type here. You can also download the FB8 version. If you've already done that, then decrease the VAE decode tile size and overlap. Lastly, you can also decrease the resolution here and try that. If you have the system resources, if you're able to test this model out, do give it a try. I think the video consistency is quite high. On the GitHub page here, somewhere down, there's a nice comparison table and they rank themselves as number one based on these metrics here. And the visual quality is at 95 percent that's really high for video generation all right so thank you for watching until the very end have a nice day ahead take care and i will see you next time